कोलिजन वॉट इज कोलिजन कोलिजन इज एन आइसोलेटेड इवेंट इन विच टू और मोर कोलाइडिंग बॉडीज एक्सर्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्सेस ऑन ईच अदर फॉर अ शॉर्ट टाइम देर आर टू मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ कोलिजन इलास्टिक कोलिजन एंड इन इलास्टिक कोलिजन इन इलास्टिक कोलिजन बोथ द लीनियर मोमेंटम एंड द कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम रिमेन्स कंजर्व Initial momentum of the system equal to final momentum of the system. That means P I equal to P F. Initial kinetic energy of the system equal to final kinetic energy of the system. That means kinetic energy initial equal to kinetic energy final. Collisions between atomic particles, atoms, marble balls, and billiard balls are the examples of elastic collision. In elastic collision the linear momentum of the system remains conserved but its kinetic energy is not conserved so initial momentum of the system equal to final momentum of the system that is pi equal to pf example when we drop a ball of wet putty on the floor then the collision between ball and floor is an inelastic collision In elastic collision is also divided into two types perfectly in elastic collision and partially in elastic collision in perfectly in elastic collision bodies sticks to each other and move together after collision elastic and in elastic collision can be in one dimension and two dimension let us see this in detail collision in one dimension Collision is said to be one dimensional if the colliding particles move along the same straight line path both before as well as after the collision. Collision in two dimension. When initial and final velocities lie in a plane, it is called two dimensional collision. It is also called an oblique collision. In oblique collision, particles don't move in same straight line after collision. what is coefficient of restitution the ratio of final velocity to the initial velocity between two objects after their collision is known as the coefficient of restitution the restitution coefficient is denoted as e and is a unitless quantity e equal to velocity of separation that means after collision divided by velocity of approach that means before collision equal to v2 minus v1 by u1 minus u2 value of e for elastic collision is 1 for perfectly in elastic collision it is 0 and for partially in elastic collision it ranges between 0 and 1 thank you